Well, hey everybody, uh, welcome back to the Berger Creek Homestead. Uh, right behind me is my grandpa's old uh, MF35. It's a Massey Ferguson 35 horsepower gas tractor. I think this is a 1962 model. And uh, it's been sitting in a shed for like 10 years or 12 years and I've been slowly um, getting it um, working. And uh, we're now in a hay field and I just started uh, haying and I wanna show you the goods and the bads of uh, what we got going on here. All right, so this is it. This is my grandpa's old uh, MF35 Deluxe. This thing hasn't ran in a decade or more, and I had to do a lot of work to it to get it running. There's still work to be done, as you'll see here. This is for the headlights. Uh, had the hood off until today, but we're still missing things like latches. Um, I did have a new uh, distributor cap I haven't put on, but the coil is new the uh, points underneath are new condensers new plugs wires uh new fuel bowl new fuel line cleaned the fuel tank all out i had to take it out it took several days and uh it's got a new uh ignition and a lot of the wires under here have been replaced and are new this one hanging down is for the I'm trying to think oh it's for the back headlight uh so it's got a new uh, radiator. Let's see if we can see that in there. I don't know if you can see that. It's a nice new aluminum radiator. Um, some of the old stuff still going on here. Uh, Grandpa sort of put this grill on with, with wire and I had it off, so I've, I've got twine on it right now, but that's gonna have to be uh, screwed in at some point. The headlights will have to be installed. We do still have a cracked manifold, which uh, Grandpa had whenever he used to use this thing, and he said it never bothered him, so I'm not really too worried about it right now. In the back, we've got, uh, packed with grass, our sickle mower here. Uh, but that's some of the good stuff. It does run. It runs really good, I think. Especially compared to, uh, before, which was not at all. Let's see, I have the fuel turned off, but I probably got enough in the, in the bowl still. And the carburetor. Runs really good. Nice smooth. Nothing really misses. It does need a little bit of a carburetor adjustment, but there's its idle speed. It's pretty good and it'll slow itself down and eventually stop, so it tells me I need to adjust that as well. Alright. Let me show you the main bad thing about this tractor, at least right now. Here we go, I've been avoiding this. So as you can see, maybe, there's some weird stuff going on here. So what I just did is I just blew out my rim. This is a saltwater ballast rim. It means it's got, it's got a tube in it. I don't know if you can see right here, I'm pushing on the tube on the inside of the tire. That tube is filled with salt water. Then you put a little bit of air in there to blow your tire up. That salt water uh, acts as ballast for weight so that you have good traction in back here. Problem with salt water is it reacts and corrodes to iron. And guess what they make the steel rims out of? So, uh, over the course of the last 60 years or so, uh, this thing has eaten away and it has decided to blow out on literally my first pass in the field. So, it means it was pretty close anyway. As you can see, these tires themselves are also shot. Um, I'm actually tearing away little bits of rubber just doing that with my finger. So I knew it was going to need to be replaced. I was really hoping I could get one hay out of it. Um, but uh, looks like I'm going to be replacing a rim and tire here. Uh, and it's probably going to have to sit in the field until I do that. So it needs to happen quick. So anyway... Thought I'd show you some of this stuff we got going on in the homestead. A lot more going on than I'm uh, posting, so I probably need to do a little bit more of that. But thanks for following along. We'll see you on the next one. God bless.